Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. A serious video today. Check ride prep again okay. with the big man over here. So yeah. let's let's see how he does. Anyway, uh, question for you: This uh, vacuum gauge. All right. Sorry, this suction gauge. All right, yes, he's measuring a, a vacuum. Which instrument uh, does that power? So vacuum will power my attitude, my heading indicator, and no, this is electrical. All right. So you meant that one for electric? That's electric. So why is that electric and these two a vacuum? Because this is for redundancy. Redundancy, okay. You lose, sorry, you lose one system, you got the other one, cool. Yeah, if you have a here, just write here, vacuum. Hold vacuum. on, this one used vacuum. No, it works on a principle, all right? And that principle is uh, perception. Perception, yeah. Per so a force apply, perception, yeah. a force apply will be felt 90 degrees. What about these two? What? what? Rigidity in space. Rigidity in space. All right, cool. All right. Let's do it, man. Our uh, first uh, port of call is a short field takeoff. Short. Short field takeoff. Oh. Short delay approved. Clear for takeoff. Runway seven. Cherokee three two zero four two. Thanks. So we want to use uh, as much runway as we can. Let's do it. Roger. What's the X in this? It's uh, 58 knots. 58. That's uh, runway 7 very fire right there. Full power, not moving. Engine instruments on green. Let's roll. Right rotor. Right rotor. And I'm looking for 58. Oh, that's 40. Engine instruments on green. 26 Victor, first chance crew. We climb, that's about 50 feet right there, and I get a positive rate and I make sure I clear my obstacle, then I can start getting rid of my flaps. Okay, keep one way hidden, get rid of those flaps right there. Cherokee 32042, uh, got some information for you, advisor. 32042. 32042, be advised when you come back, the tower cab may not be open due to a, uh, um, uh, issue in the tower cab with uh, air conditioning. Uh, we may be uh, shutting down operations uh, later on this evening. We may not be here. Just want to let you know. Roger, appreciate that. Thanks. Okay. Never so, heard that before. Interesting. That's bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. We got no air conditioning here. <laughs> what did you forget? Welcome to the sky. <laughs> 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 Again, bro. Seriously. No. Bump has a check ride because oh, of that. That's it. That's it. It's over. Yeah, check no, ride just... failed. Shut up. <laughs> that was a fit. <laughs> We're getting into the uh, 1,300 feet. And it took me 30, roughly 30 more seconds then. Now from here on, we go to the next check. Okay, power back. Put your hold on. Great. Sweet. You got the sun and then you got the foggles. Exactly. That's awesome. All right, man. Give me a turn 240, please. You got it. Turn it 240. You want me to keep the same altitude? Yeah, 2500 is fine. Okay. I'm uh, just trying to get myself away from this f***ing sun. What's your method of scanning your instruments? I'm on the heading you want and the altitude you want. I'm keeping my little plate aligned with the attitude. And I'm keeping a constant airspeed. As well as a neutral vertical or no climb or descent. Roger. So pretty much look at each, each instrument for about 2-3 seconds. Okay. So basically keeping your eyes moving. Keeping my eyes moving all around. You've had a good instructor, man. I'll forget his name when we uh, when we get back on the ground. <laughs> he's, he's a really good guy. Let's give me a 500 foot per minute descent uh, to 2,000 feet, please. 500 to 2,000. If we're doing a 500 foot per minute descent and we're going to lose 500 feet, how, how long should that take? A, min uh, a minute. A minute, all right, cool. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. You know, I can appreciate that. We're in a cloud, right? First of all, 
Are you allowed to fly into a cloud VFR? No. No. Okay. But what's the VFR uh, cloud clearance stuff? Depending on the airspace I am. What you mean for? Good point. What, what airspace are we in now? We should be on Eco. So right uh, now. Yeah, I need to stay 500 below 1,000 above 200 horizontal. Perfect. All right. So we're in a cloud, right? No, Two I'm not allowed to go in the cloud. You, you're not allowed, but let's just say that we are. Oh. Okay. All right, all right, we're in a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> the examiner's trying to trick you into <laughs> saying that you're allowed to go into a cloud. <laughs> what a uh, All right, man, I want you to uh, divert to Orlando. To Orlando? Yeah, how would you do that? Okay, so I'm in a cloud, okay? But I still got a GPS. GPS, let's say the GPS isn't working. The GPS is not working. So I'm gonna try to look for the references. Well, you're in a cloud, so you can't really see a reference, right? I will get out of the cloud. You can't get out of the cloud, it's f***ing overcast. You've, you've it, picked a terrible day to come flying VFR. How would you get to Orlando Executive? What I can do is I can tune two, I can two, tune two VORs. Oh! Oh, he got it! <laughs> okay, so I track the phone from two VORs and then I cross check my point on my chart. Okay. That way I can estimate where I'm at. Where, you, where well, you can. All I asked. All, all the examiner just said was divert to Orlando. How would you divert to Orlando? I can tune into the uh, Let's Orlando do it. VOR. All right. all right, do it. Okay, so it's being verified, but I'm on GPS here, which you teach me. I just need to switch it from GPS. Uh, it'll get a two indication. Okay, so if I roughly turn to one two, it will take me to Orlando. Roger. As you're doing that, descend to 1,500 feet, please. We'll descend to 1,500. 18 miles away okay. from Orlando. So how long is that going to take us uh, to get to Orlando? Okay, I know my ground speed and I know my distance. Can uh, I get my E6B? Don't worry about it, that's all I need to know. Okay. That's fine. I know you know how to do that. Alright. Alright, cool man, take the hood off. <coughs> Where are we? We are north of Lake Apoca. Put the hood back on. My controls. Man, your control. Wait, do you want me to close my eyes? Yes. Uh, we're going to do unusual attitudes, so... Make sure you fuel pump landing lights. So what is an unusual attitude? An attitude of the plane that can let you to lose control of the aircraft. And how how would you get yourself into an unusual attitude? Like what? Yeah, you just, you just got me a perfect example. Maybe I'm on the cloud. I have no reference to the uh, ground. If I keep following what my ears tell me, I can get into an unusual attitude okay. right there. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to do a couple of them. I just want you to recover. Right now? Uh, not yet. No, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, I'm just following you. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a good student. You are. Recover! <laughs> like pocket traffic, you got a pipe check. You were uh, west shore, like pocket 2,000 feet, unusual attitude, like pocket traffic. Move check, this has been done. The area is clear. Okay, you're not going to know that. I'm your eyes. Okay, here we go. Just. Oh, f just keep your eyes closed, head down. Yeah. Yeah, you're in a cloud, you start, you know, trying to listen to your inner ear, you feel the motions of the aircraft and feel what the aircraft is oh. doing. Alright, recover! <laughs> My controls. New control. Head down, close your eyes. Recover. My controls. Air controls. When, uh, when you stall an airplane, what do you do with the power? Nose down. Ah, oh, power back, nose down. No, full power. <laughs> Head down, close your eyes. Recover. Yeah, they get that power in straight away. Yes. The stall warning is the indication there. Okay. 
You got me on, on that one because you got the power back and yeah. I was overthinking. Exactly. <laughs> My controls, that's generally what they're going to do. They're going to try and confuse you. That actually felt really cool. <laughs> Recover. Oh All right. boy! You can take the hot off. All right, man. We're going to do uh, a set of stalls. Plus, take into consideration the gusty conditions today. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go to the right. Don't let it. You can't redo it on a on a check ride. I know. So.